Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 6 to the power of x. Now, what is what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have 9 to the power of x subtract 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 6 to the power of x. The first step to do here, let's divide everything here by 6 to the power of x. So here we have 6 to the power of x. And also here we divide by 6 to the power of x. So 6 to the power of x here simplifies so that now we have 9 to the power of x divided by 6 to the power of x subtract 4 to the power of x divided by 6 to the power of x this is equal to 1. The next step from here we can express 9 basically as 3 times 3 raised to the power of x divided by 6 which essentially is equal to 2 times 3 raised to the power of x then subtract 4 which is 2 times 2 raised to the power of x again divided by 6 which is 2 times 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1. The next step is that 3 times 3 to the power of x or 2 times 2 to the power of x this is in the form of a multiplied by b raised to the power of c which we can express as a to the power of c multiplying by b to the power of c. Applying this property then we have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x subtract 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x this is equal to 1. The next step is we can simplify 3 to the power of x here and we can simplify 2 to the power of x so that now we have 3 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x subtract 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x this is equal to 1. The next step is that 3 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x this is in the form of a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n which we can express as a over b raised to the power of n. Applying this property now applying this property then here we have 3 over 2 raised to the power of x subtract 2 over 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1. Now the next step is that 3 over 2 raised to the power of x this is in the form of a over b raised to the power of n which we can express as b over a raised to the power of minus n. Applying this property, then 3 over 2 to the power of x becomes 2 over 3 raised to the power of minus x, then subtract 2 over 3 raised to the power of x, this is equal to 1. The next step is that 2 over 3 raised to the power minus x, this is in the form of a to the power of minus n which we can express as 1 over a to the power of n. Let's apply this property so that now we have a 1 over 2 over 3 raised to the power of x subtract 2 over 3 raised to the power of x here. This is equal to 1. The next step is that since we have 2 over 3 to the power of x here, which is common, we can let 2 
over 3 to the power of x b equal to u. Now since we have 2 over 3 to the power of x and 2 over 3 to the power of x a, we can let 2 over 3 raised to the power of x b equal to u. Substituting u, we have 1 over u. Subtract u, this is equal to 1. u is our number, so this is over 1, and 1 is our number, so this is over 1. The LCM is u, so let's multiply everything here by u. So that now, u and u here simplifies, so that we have 1 minus u times u, which is u squared. This is equal to 1 times u, which is equal to u. So let's take u on the left hand side so that we have 1 minus u squared minus u, this is equal to 0. So let's rearrange this equation so that we have minus u squared minus u plus 1, this is equal to 0. The next step is we can divide by minus 1, everything here by minus 1, minus u squared divided by minus 1, this becomes u squared. Then we have minus u divided by minus 1. This becomes plus u. Then plus 1 divided by minus 1. This becomes minus 1. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation where with a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and that c is equal to minus 1. So to solve for the values of u1, comma, u2, we apply the quadratic formula. That's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ec. Everything here divided by 2 times times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So that now here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of now 1 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 times c which is minus 1 everything here divided by 2 times 1 now here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 this is plus 4 and everything here divided by 2 so now here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So this implies that we have two values of, that is u1, comma u2. This is minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Now this implies that u1 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And we have that u2 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that rate 2 over 3 raised to the power of x. This is, this, this is equal to u. Now, substituting this, then this implies that we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of x, this is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. As well as here, we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of x, this is equal to minus 1, subtract square root of 5, everything here divided by 2. Now, 2 over 3 raised to the power of x, this is actually greater or equal to 0. And that minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, this is also greater than 0. In other words, this is positive, and also this is positive. So we can proceed to solve for the value of x, given this part here. But the second part here, 2 over 3 raised to the power of x, this is again positive. This will give us a positive value, or this is greater than or equal to 0. But minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2, this is less or equal to 0. So this means that here we'll have undefined result. We'll have undefined result.
and this means that this second part here we cannot proceed to solve for the value of x and therefore this part is rejected so let's proceed with 2 over 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to this is the same thing as square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 to solve for x here we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have rog 2 over 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to rog square root of 5 subtract 1 over 2 we have that rog 2 over 3 to the power of x this is in the form of rog a to the power of n which we can express as n rog a applying this power property of logarithm rog 2 over 3 to the power of x becomes x rog 2 over 3 this is equal to rog this is square root of 5 subtract 1 over 2 so the next step from here we have that rog 2 over 3 and rog square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 this is in the form of rog a over b which you can express as rog a subtract rog b applying this logarithm property then here we have x into the parentheses this is the same thing as rog 2 subtract rog 3 cross the parentheses this is equal to rog square root of 5 subtract 1 cross the parentheses then subtract rog 2. Now, this implies here we divide both sides by rog 2 minus rog 3. So here we have rog 2 minus rog 3. Now let's simplify rog 2 minus rog 3 on this side so that now x is equal to rog. Now, square root of 5 minus 1 this is the same thing as rog 2.2361 subtract this is subtract 1 then subtract rog 2 divided by rog 2 subtract rog 3 so we have that x is equal to now rog 2.2361 minus 1 this is the same thing as 0. Point, this is 0. 0.09205 minus rog 2 which is 0. 0.3010 divided by 0. 0.3010 minus rog 3 which is 0. 0.4771 and this implies that here we have 0 0.09205 minus 0 0.3010 this is the same thing as minus 0 0.20895 divided by 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.4771 this is minus 0 0.1761 so let's simplify here negative and negative simplifies so this means that the value of x here is equal to 1.1865 so this is the value of x this is the value of x so let's verify let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation so if you recall we end at 9 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x this is equal to 6 to the power of x substituting x then we have 9 to the power of 1.1865 subtract 4 to the power of 1.1865 this should be equal to 6 to the power of 1.1865 so 9 to the power of 1.1865 this is equal to 13 Point five five eight four subtract four to the power of one point one eight six five 
which is 5.1802. This is equal to 6 to the power of 1.1865. This is the same thing as 8.3. 8063. So if we subtract here, we have 8.3782. This is equal to 8.38063. So we can round off to two decimal places here, and this becomes 8.38, and this is equal to 8.38. So the left add side is equal to the right add side and this confirms that the value of x here which is equal to 1.1865 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now